Hey guys, this is Mark Yohi again. Oh, welcome back to my channel. Two days ago, Xiaomi announced their first global lineup, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 series. So with me here, I'm so excited to have the Redmi Note 11, which I think is an upgrade compared to last year Note 10. One of the reasons is that this time it uses the latest Snapdragon 680, which is based on 6 nanometer processor. If compared to last year, 11 nanometer Snapdragon 678. But of course, I will need to test it out in my full review. Standard Redmi packaging. <sighs> Powered by Redmi. In the box, you are welcome with the inner insert as usual. Okay. Sea injector. Documentation. And also a soft TPU case. Okay, it's a bit thick at the side here for better protection. Nice. And you have this 33 watt of turbo charger, which is supposed to fully charge this phone from 0 to 100 in an hour. Nice. And you have this USB A to Type C cable, standard. Some brief info on the phone wrapper. The first one is that this phone is powered by Snapdragon 680, which is based on 6 nanometer processor. And the screen has a 90 hertz of refresh rate, Full HD Plus resolution, AMOLED screen. And this phone has a dual speaker setup, nice. And this phone, as I said before, supports 33 watt of fast charging. And it has a 5000 mAh battery. And the last one is that this phone has a quad camera setup, with 50 megapixel main shooter and also supports ultra wide and micro lenses. Nice. Let me tell you guys again by peeling off the phone wrapper. Ah, nice. Wow. Very nice looking phone. Not bad. And the back and also the frame is actually made of plastic, but it feels very solid. Okay, there's no hollow feel. And there's only at the back, there's only a slight curve. Okay, it's a bit boxier compared to last year Redmi Note 10. And the back is actually matte finish. Okay, so it's less prone to fingerprint smudges. This phone is actually quite light at 179 weight. And the thickness is 8.09 millimeter, so it's actually quite nice in the hand. I like it. One more thing to add on is that this phone has a IP53 certification against certain degree of dust and water resistance, so it's nice. I really love the camera design. I think it looks very stylish, and it's actually quite similar to the latest Xiaomi 12 that I have here. Okay, you can see some similar design language full review for the xiaomi 12 soon so stay tuned guys so as i mentioned just now this phone has a quad camera setup at the back 50 megapixel main shooter 8 megapixel ultra wide 2 megapixel macro and 2 megapixel depth sensor so to the right of the phone you have the volume rocker and also the power button which also act as a fingerprint sensor and down below, you have one of the speakers, Type-C port, and also the primary microphone. And to the left, you have the SIM slot. And on top, you have the 3.5 mm headphone jack, another speaker, IR blaster, and also the secondary microphone. So guys, good news. This phone actually supports dual SIM card and also one micro SD card at the same time. Nice. And as you can see here, this phone is actually preloaded with the latest MIUI 13. So guys, as you can see here, this phone is actually has rounded corners, but because the back is actually slightly just uh, less curvy, okay, compared to last year Redmi Note 10, so it feels more boxier to be honest, okay? You have to feel it for yourself. And in front of you, this phone has a 6.43 inch Full HD 1080p AMOLED screen, 
which supports 90 Hz of refresh rate. Okay, this is definitely a much better upgrade compared to last year, Redmi Note 10, which only supports 60 Hz of refresh rate. And you have to go to setting, display. So by default, it's set at 60 Hz. So you have to set it manually. and the uh, scrolling would be much more smoother. And the screen here is actually protected with Corning Gorilla Glass 3, okay, to protect the screen. And the punch hole here, okay, is actually quite small. It houses a 30 megapixel selfie camera. Wow, to be honest, the screen on this phone is actually very nice. Okay, the AMOLED screen is actually very sharp and stunning at this price point. I'm actually quite impressed. Uh, my only complaint is that the chin here is actually a bit noticeable. Okay, it's not too huge, but I hope that next year maybe they can make it slightly smaller. But overall, the bezel has been done, uh, has been uh, designed quite nicely, quite minimal. So guys, before I end this video, let me do a simple dual speaker test. As I mentioned before, this phone actually supports dual speaker setup. So very nice for this price point. Wow, the speakers are actually quite immersive and I personally think that it's much better than last year Redmi Note 10. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. So there you go guys, my first impression of the latest Redmi Note 11. This phone is selling from $179 US dollar. However, the official price in Malaysia will only be announced next month on the 10th of February. So stay tuned to this channel for further updates. So I'll be using this phone as my daily driver. Do let me know if you have any questions. Until then, take care and stay safe. Peace guys.